Hello, my loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Let's see what we have here for um, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, so we're going to start with some channeled messages. We're going to do some Oracle and then get into the reading, okay? So Aries, I feel that there is someone here and I feel like it is definitely someone that you know. It is someone that you do not have positive memories with, okay? Um, someone that you ended off badly with, okay? Someone that you ended off badly with. I feel like someone here is stalking because they feel, um, someone here wants revenge, I don't, someone here is wanting some form of revenge because they were, you know, pushed to the side in some way. Someone's feeling very spiteful. And I feel that someone here wants to, like, I feel like perhaps maybe someone wants to come out with the truth or someone wants to say, you know, you're nothing compared to me. There's a lot of like jealousy here or a, a need to win or a need to hurt somebody. There's someone here that's going through some, someone here has a very negative energy to them. I don't know if that's you, Aries, or your person or somebody here, um, but there's someone from the past. It could also be just a messed up family member. I don't know, you know, there's definitely definitely someone that you have known for some, quite some time that someone here is not not someone here is not doing well okay someone here is not doing well that someone here like wants revenge or they're really upset over something let's see here let's pull some oracle clarity guidance love messages for my aries please Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aries, please. So we've got don't let pride get in your way and conclusions are within reach. So Aries, I feel that um, something's going to happen here. And it is going to hit at the center core of, of pride and ego. And that's where I feel like the need for revenge and that need for being mad and upset because someone's going to do something that may either embarrass you or something's going to happen here. Um, there can be a conclusion here. Surrender to the divine and communication is key. Take time to breathe out. Breathe out. So Aries, someone here is about to get really upset. Okay, um, someone here needs to remember to operate from their higher self. Someone here, you know, conclusions are within reach. So this can be worked out. It can be worked out. Um, but someone here is about to get very insulted or offended. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please. Envy just popped out. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aries, please. And community. Yeah. There is a third party here. Friend, ex, whatever. Um, there is someone here that is very envious, very, very jealous, very upset. Um, this person has a very negative aura to them. Very dark aura to them. Okay. Um... Aries, I don't know. I mean, this can be you. You may just be super pissed off. Um, or it could be, you know, someone else. I don't know, you know. Um, but someone here is really mad. I mean mad, okay? And it's like with that, that attachment card, it's like someone can't let it go. They can't let it go. They're chained to that feeling of resentment or anger or wanting revenge or spitefulness, you know. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aries. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aries, please. Tell me about Aries, please. Tell me about Aries, please. So we've got peace and milestone. And then behind a mask. So I feel like Aries, there's one person here that's peaceful you know, they're living their life, achieving their goals, but behind a mask, somebody here is raging, okay? So this could potentially be 
someone who's smiling to your face. You see what I'm saying? Somebody here is not showing this anger, rage, or, or need for, or want for revenge, or jealousy. Someone's not showing it. Tell me about Aries, please. Mask pops out. <laughs> Masks pops and not showing true feelings, high personify, pretend, delude, and gaslight. Someone here is not showing how they truly feel. We've got addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block and restraint. And then we've got abundance and the snake. Okay. So keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. And then we've got the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. Aries, someone here is smiling to someone's face but this person is very jealous or obsessed over someone else's abundance okay someone here you know maybe wants to interfere they see things as competition someone here is out to cause pain or hurt in some way and i don't know if that's you or your person or someone you know tell me about aries please tell me about aries please Tell me about Aries, please. We've got retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. We've got separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. And engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Aries, I feel that someone here has pulled away to go be in a higher level of commitment. And the person here that's being left behind is really pissed. That's all I'm going to say. Someone here is really pissed. Okay, let's see what we have here. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for Aries, please. Tell me about Aries. So we've got the strength card, Leo energy. Tell me. Oh, 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 okay. So we've got the page of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. We've got the five of pentacles. And we've got the sun, Leo energy. Under the deck, the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, the Eight of Cups, the Six of Wands. Okay, so Aries, the person on this side with the Page of Wands and the Strength card, someone here is, hey, what's up? How you doing? What's going on? And with the Strength card, they're holding back from saying what they really want to say. With the Five of Pentacles and the Sun card, I feel... Like someone here was left desolate or abandoned or left out in the cold so that someone else can go be happy. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like someone said, listen, I'm pulling out of this. I'm sorry. I'm kicking you out. I'm throwing you out. I'm tossing you to the side because my happiness lies elsewhere. And I feel here, Aries, that with the Six of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles, someone's going to come off with this energy of, Okay, that's fine. I didn't need you anyway. I'm fine all by myself. I'm fine. I'm, I, I don't even care about you anyway. Meanwhile, this person's dying. Meanwhile, this person is really, really upset. Let's see here. Yeah, someone's about to receive a message of, I'm sorry, it's not you, it's me, but I don't want this anymore. Tell me about the strength card here for Aries. Two of Swords. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles here for Aries and the Four of Swords. Someone here is about to get really hurt, Aries. A truth is about to come out. Yeah, a truth is about to come out. Possibly that someone here is going off to have a new beginning with someone else. Um, yeah, someone's getting cut out. Someone's being tossed out, left out in the cold. With the Four of Swords, it is going to require a lot of healing. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Page of Wands. Yeah, see, a truth is about to come out here, Aries. A truth is definitely about to come out. Tell me about the Sun card here for Aries. King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Someone is about to speak their truth that they want to be in a relationship with somebody else. Aries, someone is coming forward with that King of Swords energy. Someone here is planning to come in and speak their truth. Um, Seven of Cups, I feel like it's just going to throw you for a loop. 
or Aries, you might be telling this to somebody. I don't know, but someone here is just going to be like, what? <laughs> you know, it's just going to throw somebody so off. Like someone here saying, you know what? I've decided I don't want to be with you. I want to be with this person. You know, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aries, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aries, please. Tell me about Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Four of Pentacles. Tell me about Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay. So we have the Four of Pentacles. The Tower. Aries, Scorpionic Energy. We have the Five of Wands. And we've got uh, the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Under the deck, the Six of Wands again. I feel the fact that someone here is just pulling back or that someone here could be that greedy. Five of Wands, someone here is really mad, upset jealous that you know this tower it's like such a sudden change um with the knight of swords energy someone here is going to flip out someone here is going to get nasty with their mouth um you know with the six of wands here i feel that you know someone really does want to walk away with their head held high but they're not going to be able to control like this so the four of pentacles they want to keep it to themselves they really do someone really wants to contain their anger but they can't do it it's going to be explosive Someone's about to really flip out. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles here. The Five of Swords. Yeah, someone here is about to lose their shit. <laughs> someone, yeah, see, King of uh, Wands here, the World card, and the Five of Pentacles. Aries, someone here may just be shutting the door in your face, leaving you completely desolate. No money, no place to live. You know, someone here may just be relaying news of, sorry, but bye, you know? And I feel like, you know, with that Five of Swords energy, as much as you want to hold it to yourself and just walk away gracefully, the betrayal is too much. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Yeah, the world card. Someone here is so mad. Someone here is so mad. They're so mad that the door's being shut, that something here is ending. Tell me about the tower and the Page of Swords in the reverse. The lies and deceit that went behind this. You know, the, 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 the way this person changes and switches up. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, Virgo energy, and the Six of Swords. I feel here, Aries, that you are expected. I mean... For some of you, it this is going to be severe. This is going to be like your ex nine of pentacles in the reverse. Like you have no money, you you're not able to stand on your own two feet because maybe you were like living with somebody or relying on somebody, or it's just like being left with nothing. And with the six of swords, that's how you're expected to leave, just with nothing. You know what I'm saying? With nothing. No wonder why you're mad here, Aries. Tell me about the challenge here for Aries. Now, Sharon, Aries, this could be happening to you. You might be doing this to someone. I don't know. Okay, Hanged Man in the reverse, Piscean energy. The um, King of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And the Hierophant in the reverse. So someone here is coming to the realization that somebody that they thought there was love, kindness, loyalty there is in fact n not keeping their promises about anything. Yeah, they're not keeping their promises about anything. Um, someone here has met someone new, I'm feeling, or they're starting something new. And with the Queen of Swords, this person is cutting somebody right out so that they can go have this new beginning, okay? So that they can manifest with somebody here. Queen of Cups and the Three of Swords with the Four of Wands. Someone here has fallen in love with somebody else and they want to go work on that with someone else. Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Someone here is leaving for a, three, a third party. Third, uh, three of Cups under the deck, Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords. Someone, the betrayal is unbelievable. 
like the betrayal is just so I'm like shaking on the inside with rage you know it's like you absorb the energy the betrayal is it's like it's like everything's fine you know you don't even think there's a problem you just wake up on a random day and someone's like hey so listen I've been meaning to tell you um I've been cheating on you and I fell in love with somebody you got to go because they're moving in tomorrow what <laughs> like you know what I'm saying it's that type of it's that type of energy okay um so it's a righteous anger you know Aries whatever this is it is a righteous anger um tell me about tell me about the outcome here for Aries tell me about the outcome here for Aries the eight of swords temperance in the reverse Sagittarian energy and the wheel of fortune in the reverse. The tables are going to turn on this person, Aries, because you're never going to forgive them. Eight of swords, you're never going to forget this. Yep. Emperor and under the deck, you are never going to let this person in again. You're never, you're probably never going to talk to them again. You will never forgive what this person has done ever. The day will come where this person calls you because they need you. And I actually want to dig into that Wheel of Fortune in reverse. You are never going to... Yeah, see the Hermit and the Justice card here. Just know here, Aries, pull back, know, and be aware that with the Justice card and the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, the tables are going to turn on this person. The tables are going to turn on this person. Four of Swords and the moon. I feel like you're going to heal. Okay. You're not, I, I feel like you're going to heal. Queen of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. You're going to get your confidence back. The high priestess, you're going to operate from a higher, a higher power there. Yeah, you're going to operate from a higher power. I feel like you have something bigger coming in anyway, Aries. I feel like you've got something good coming in. Tell me about the King of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. And the No, uh, Aries, all I can tell you is this person is just cutting someone out to go start a new beginning elsewhere. That's all I can tell you. All I can tell you is they will pay their karma. I don't know when. I don't know how. It's not telling me. But Spirit is telling you, rest assured, that what goes around comes around. Okay? All right, guys. I love you so much. Take care.